Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and in this video I'm going to show you the effects and the creative process behind this artwork of Crony. So the first thing I did was I made a head, which is typical, nothing too uh, out of the ordinary there. Um, I wish I had an easier way of explaining how I draw heads, but the reality is I just kind of know how to draw them without guidelines, so not much help there. But I wanted to go for a lot of motion in this artwork, almost like, as you could see from the finished artwork, like a, a swimsuit snapping. Now, this is definitely a cliche in anime. Um, I wanted to try my hand at drawing the cliche for the first time I've ever done it. And I think it turned out okay. But as you can see, I'm adjusting the composition, trying to make sure everything fits within rule of thirds and is very pleasing to the eye. Now, the um, anatomy on the first go around, I usually never get it right, um, and that's a problem I tend to have. I tend to draw the head too big usually and then have to resize it later. It's a big problem when I'm drawing it on paper, that's for sure. <laughs> so now I'm drawing the guides inside the head so I know where to put the eyes and the side of the head and the mouth. I went for a very like, oh my god, what is happening facial expression, which is fitting considering what is going on. Now, a big problem I had when I made this artwork, and I think I didn't quite satisfy it, um, was I don't make it look like she's looking down enough in the finished product. The sketch, I did a great job. It looked fine. It looked like she was looking at the, at the swimsuit snapping off. I did good, but then when I went in to go render it, I lost that ability. It's funny, as I was uh, originally making the hair, it started to look like Toph a little bit, just in the uh, hairstyle. So I had to go in and kind of fix that. And I was uh, like, oh, God, that's not good. <laughs> that's no bueno. So I ended up having to resize the canvas yet again to make it fit the composition a bit more. In, in composition, you usually don't want the whole body. You want to kind of crop it in a way that makes uh, sense to the eye in a pleasing way. So I'm getting all the base colors in to plan out my artwork. Getting all the base colors in. I tend to really enjoy watching this part of the process that I did. Just because it's fun for me. So I ended up adjusting the canvas a bit. Because I wanted the top of the hair a bit more. And the clock halo that Crony tends to have. Added the blush. And now I have a multiplayer layer on top. So I can plan out the lighting. Um, I really do recommend doing light carving to plan out lighting. It, it makes things so much better. It's funny. I, I feel like I'm finally getting somewhere with my art because... My sketches look almost like finished products now, which just makes me feel like, yay, I'm finally getting to the point where I feel confident enough when I draw. Because <laughs> uh, confidence is important. I've always had confidence, but it wasn't warranted confidence. I tend, to, uh, I tend to overvalue what I made in the past. and That's not a bad thing. It's just it, it de I developed a really bad ego when I was in my early 20s, and I kind of don't want to go back to that. So. Got to try to stay humble, even if, even if life throws some things at you that burst your confidence too much. There's a fine line between confidence and um, ego. So whenever I do line art, I make my line super thin. Um, it, I think I did 0.6 on a 4,000 by 6,000 canvas with 300 DPI. Whenever I cropped it, it actually made the line art appear bigger because the canvas size was reduced. So what I did to get the effect of like that motion blur was I put each individual breast in a different folder. That way I could convert it to a layer so its own, its own individual drawing. Then I could add the effects on separately. Um, it's a technique that I didn't have to use, but I thought it'd be a little bit easier. Um, the reason I did this method was it, it's kind of the same way whenever I would make a uh, VTuber model for someone. 
you separate based on uh, layers individually that you want to move. I found that it works really good with effects as well in your own digital drawings. So both the, the bikini and the left and right breasts are all their own separate individual things, so I can manipulate just them. I hope that made sense. I, I'm really hoping I didn't just speak into the ether and hope it worked. Added the shine, make it look nice and big. Crony's uh, breast size is massive. This definitely isn't typical, but it's anime. It's not real. So we draw it however we feel like in the anime industry. There we go. Now it's coming together. Use the selection pen a lot. It definitely will make things easier for you. You can use an airbrush and turn it into an eraser by hitting C on your keyboard, and that'll help you easily erase and cr create feathered gradients for your uh, rendering process. Usually I start with the face. I'm not sure why I didn't this time, but I just wanted to get like the, the tricky part out of the way. And for the most part, I accomplished that. So yay! I changed up the hair a little bit. Again, whenever you draw a line art, your goal is not to make it thinner or just a thinner version of what's already there. The goal is to improve and add upon what is in the sketch and make it better. Sometimes you achieve that, sometimes you don't. Um, it comes with experience the more you do it. Um, even I sometimes still make a mistake, even after 10 years. Um, I say 10 years like I was any good 10 years ago. I only started getting better about a year and a half ago. I used to say three years, but I look back at my stuff a year and a half ago and I go, Ew, that, that looks kind of crummy. <laughs> but I've learned a lot since then, and I feel like I keep learning and I'm going to keep learning. I, my goal is to keep getting better at art till the day I die. Eventually, I'm going to stop improving, but I would really like to push it for as long as I possibly can. So now we're doing the eyes. I'm not super proud of how I did the eyes this time. I didn't have um, an eye shape in mind, and I kind of just uh, winged it this time. And I felt like maybe my eyes suffered in this regard. It wasn't as good as it could have been, and that's unfortunate. So now I started adding the color to the eyes to kind of balance it out. And here pretty soon I'm going to start adding rendering to the face. I did really good with the roundness in the hair this time. I'm actually super proud of how I did the hair. Um, it turned out really well. It, it was simpler than how I usually do hair. So it made me realize that maybe I should start doing hair like this more often because I'm super happy with how it turned out in the simple form. added some backlighting to the hair to make it look like the lighter parts are shining through. Um, I'm not the best at doing that yet. I feel like I still have a lot to learn in that regard, but it turned out okay. Added some shading to the face. Now, the issue with shading the face is you can very easily overdo it. The face in anime is not very complex. It's actually supposed to be very simple compared to the rest of the body. At least that's what I've noticed in current trends with anime. So I guess keep that in mind. There we go. Now I'm adding the rendering to the other parts of the clothes, like the little jacket. Added some wildness to the hair because you know me, I love me some wild hair. Colored the line art. And now is where I'm going to take the individual breasts and I'm going to start adding some... Um, motion blur to it. I got to find the angle, get it just right. There we go. 
go. And now the bikini. There we go. Now we got some motion and now we got to draw the clock part in because I almost forgot to do that. But I remembered. Hooray. Add some hard lights, blur to make it pop a bit more. Some add glow layer to really make it shine and stand out. And now finally a multiply layer to really enhance the mood and the lighting of the artwork. Now I think a tonal curve and we're good. There we go. I really did a lot of effects on this one. I kind of went crazy with it. <laughs> My bad. Me trying to make a shine by hand, but not really enjoying how it turned out. Oh, well. And there we have it, the finished artwork. If you like this video, please like, comment, hit the bell, subscribe. Helps out a whole lot. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.